Hello, my name is Ralph Riggs. I'm the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. Most of us know that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. As Proverbs remind us, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Remember that? There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yet the tunnel fills us with darkness, so it is very deep. We are left breathless, hopeless, and sometimes even without any type of uh, 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 hope that makes us feel lost in suffering. It's a black hole of hopelessness. When you're inside that tunnel and the darkness is all you can see and feel, my friends, it's difficult to imagine there may be hope. The darkness can suck all life out of you and take you further than feeling lost, even desolate, disconsolidate. Sadly, some are nipped or engulfed by the thoughts of suicide, as we just found out about Aaron Hernandez. The tunnel is the feeling of falling. The darkness is falling into oblivion. When you're in the tunnel, you can't see any light sometimes. There is an old thing that people used to say, that that light at the end of the tunnel might be an oncoming train. But I'm here to tell you that that light in the tunnel can be the beginning of the new you. If you're there, take time out. Be patient and seek help wherever you can find it. Suffering alone makes the whole experience of despair even deeper. There is help available, and there are those who do understand because they've been there themselves. The light at the end of the tunnel is no illusion. The tunnel is the illusion. The tunnel is the illusion of separation, the illusion of being alone, the illusion of being lost. We are all on the same path. Our separation from each other is an illusion of consciousness. This is what Albert Einstein once said. He said, we are all on, uh, on the same path. Our separation from each other is an illusion of consciousness. Life is an imperfect experience, a journey that, for everyone, contains light and dark aspects. Suffering is part of that growth. There are choices to be made about whether to focus on the tunnel or to take positive, active steps to shift into the light. Yet, I understand that in the tunnel it feels hopeless and it feels like there is no choice. I've been there. There is no judgment in the tunnel of despair. How can one judge another one's suffering? Although there are people that try to do that, it is not a good idea to start doing that. Darkness imprisons us in fear. Love liberates us from the tunnel of despair. I believe we do have the power to overcome suffering, although it may not always disappear. Until one reaches one's last breath, there will be a new sunrise on their horizon, a new day, a new breath, something to look forward to. In the tunnel, the world makes no sense, and we are about to brought to a place where we would do anything to avoid, yet the tunnel is there. It lies relentlessly in our conscience like a noose held tightly around our neck. We feel strangled by the fear and loss. The dark tunnel is this the strangulation. It feels like one cannot breathe, one has nowhere to go, but to vanish and be swallowed up into the earth's abyss. The vacuum is not the end of the road, my friends. There is a new beginning and a new hope at the end of the tunnel. A new light around the corner is there for you to seek. Stay present to the breath and seek the light at the end of the tunnel. I have some helpful suggestions for you. Take a moment outside to connect around preferably barefoot and hug a tree. Take some deep breaths and keep breathing deeply as long as you can. Don't think about anything just to focus on your breath. Just focus. Go for the regular walks and in nature each and every day. If you can get a friend or a partner to join you, even better. Find ways to take small, positive actions like connecting with an old friend, going for a walk, going to exercise class, doing something you enjoy, and do that and feel the difference. Reach out to others who understand and can support you. Don't give up on the light at the end of the tunnel. There are people and organizations who can help. Keep moving forward, even if you have to force yourself to consciously take it one step at a time. 
reach out your hand and reach out your hand extended so far and give hope a chance dedicate to those amongst us who may be feeling the pain of darkness this is my gift to you to tell you that the end of the light of the tunnel or the light at the end of the tunnel is not an oncoming train it is hope it is compassion it is the need to keep going please share this video with who that you know is suffering from depression confusion or lost somebody may benefit from your caring intervention remember we are all one together join hands and make a better life for each other I'm here to help you my friends to help you take your life back today call me at 844-405-HELP and together let's look at that light at the end of the tunnel and move forward and reach it and may God bless you